Hi guys, this is Marvin from ShopsadaPage.com and due to the popularity of my review of the Anycast M2 Plus dongle, I'm going to help you guys on how to set it up so you can turn your old TV into a smart TV. Let's get to it! Welcome back guys and let's begin. First, connect the micro USB cable with the attached antenna to your Anycast dongle. Then connect your Anycast dongle to your TV and plug the USB cable into the USB port of your TV. Just in case your Anycast dongle doesn't turn on, it is because your TV's USB port power is not enough. Try powering it up using a power bank. Now, once you've connected your Anycast dongle to your TV, change the source to the HDMI port where you connected your Anycast dongle. Once the setup page of the Anycast dongle shows up, take note of the SSID and password as you will need it later. Now, let's set it up on your mobile phone. First, connect to your Anycast dongle's Wi-Fi. Enter the password and press continue. Once connected, you will see it on the setup screen as well. Now, let's continue the setup. Open your Google Chrome browser. Type in the address of the Anycast dongle setup page. You can also see this address in the bottom left corner of the setup page on your TV. Once the setup page finished loading, you will see the available settings. We have the internet settings where you will connect your Anycast dongle to your router. Just click it and choose your router's SSID. Just in case your Anycast dongle won't detect your router and stuck on loading like this, there's a workaround for it by creating a Wi-Fi hotspot using another mobile phone. More info about that link in the description. Moving on, we have the language, Wi-Fi password, device name, default mode when you power up the Anycast dongle, screen resolution, different modes, and the upgrade option. Now, let's try first the streaming or airplay mode. I use the app called iMedia Share. You can download it from the Google Play Store. You can stream local media like videos directly from your phone to your TV. Choose the media that you like and choose Anycast as the screen to use. Guys, this is Marvin from ShopsideUpPage.com Now, your chosen media will start playing on your TV. The good thing about the streaming mode is that you can still use your phone normally while streaming media to your TV. You can pause the media and while it's paused, it will start to buffer. You can use this if the media starts to stutter or lag. Now, let's try online content. I use Flips, also downloadable from Google Play Store. You can choose from a vast variety of different online contents. Same thing, just use Anycast as your screen. Sometimes there would be an ad that you have to wait to skip, like this one. Just skip it and the content will start streaming on your TV. The speed depends on your internet connection just like normal when you're watching YouTube videos. He's the best there is at what he does, but what he does best is Now, let's try the mirror ring or mirror cast mode where you just mirror what's on your phone screen into your TV. To change into mirroring mode, push the button on the side of your Anycast dongle. The setup screen will now change to Miracast mode from AirPlay mode. Now the setup will vary depending on the mobile phone's model, but basically you just have to go to display settings, click on cast, enable wireless display, and choose Anycast. Once you're connected, your screen will now be mirrored on your TV. Mirroring mode is best for gaming if you want to play games on a bigger screen. And that's it! You can now play games, listen to music, and watch videos from your mobile phone to your TV. It's a good alternative for the much expensive Google Chromecast. And there you have it guys! Thank you for watching. Make sure to check the full article link in the description below. Subscribe if you like this, and see you next time!